She says, love. I really like this ink pad storage, clear. I have both of them standing on my work table side by side. So I'm actually using this to store my card fronts in. So I've got my slimline paper pads in there. And now with this new storage, ta-da, I can keep everything in one place. The next one is from R.S. Gordon. She says, perfect for her scrap box. She was looking for a solution to store ink pads in her scrap box and did not want to use clear bins. That's how I use my scrapbook.com ink pad storage in my room. I wonder how you'll use yours in yours. Welcome friends, thank you so much for joining us. We are so happy and excited to share with you the special limited time offer on our ink pad storage bundle. If you've been looking for a way to store your ink pads or other crafty items, this is the solution for you. This sale is good for two days or while supplies last, so you're gonna wanna stock up on these bundles before they're gone. In this live stream, we will show you what's included in this bundle. Also, some of our crafty friends will give us a sneak peek inside their craft rooms. Plus, they will share ideas of what else you can store in your ink pad storage other than ink pads. All right, if you're joining us on Facebook or YouTube, be sure to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. Our team is standing by and they will answer all of your questions. All right, let's look at what is included in this ink pad storage bundle. Uh, you have a choice between choosing two clear or two white. This is the two white ink pad storage. The MSRP on this bundle is $67, but right now for our special limited time price, you get two for the price of $19.99. Two bundles to choose from. They're available in clear or white. You get two ink pad storage towers in each bundle. So let me tell you about the sizes of them. Each container measures 13 and a half inches tall by five inches wide by three and a quarter inches deep. It holds 12 standard size ink pads. It's made of thick acrylic plastic and has shelf notches so you can easily remove your ink pads. Once again, this bundle is only $19.99, MSRP of $67. So you're gonna wanna grab yours while supplies last. Um, for this offer, just click on the link in the YouTube description, or if you're watching on Facebook, just click on the link in the comments. All right, now Marie of Marie Nicole Designs is going to give us a quick craft tour in her crafty space. I can't wait. So let's take a look and see Marie's craft space. All right, so I have my room sort of divided into two sections. On one side is my crafts here, and on the other side is our classroom. So I'm gonna be focusing more on our crafts. So this large desk here, my husband actually built and I absolutely love it. It's got a lot of space on top that the kids can sit and do their homework on um, as I'm sitting there helping them or I can clear it off and do a big craft on there. So that's my main work surface over here where I film my videos. I do a lot of my crafting. I've got a lot of my most used tools right in reach here. Just some coloring things and a lot of markers um, over here. I've got my liquid adhesives, I've got my scissors, um, ruler, my die cutting tools, all the things that I reach for really frequently. Now this other organizer thing here is actually from scrapbook.com. Now this is one of their ink pad towers. You can put 12 ink pads in there. So I'm actually using this to store my card fronts in. So I've got my slimline paper pads in there. I've got some slimline um, card bases and card fronts. And I also have my A2 size card fronts and my card bases. So they're all right there, really handy. Um, I love this little organizer to set right here on my desk so that I can put everything in there. I've got this little die as well. This is from Spellbinders, and it's the perfect size for cutting out panels on the front of your cards. So I just keep this right in front here so I can grab it. I can cut out different sizes of cards that I need, um, cut panels to put on my cards, and it's right there where I need it. Thank you so much, Marie. That was so fun to see your crafty space. It was so organized. I loved it. And I loved how you used the ink pad storage to store all of your paper pads and your card fronts. That was a fabulous idea. So thank you for sharing that with us. It was so fun to see.
All right, now I'm gonna show you what ink pads actually fit inside this ink pad storage. But first, let me just remind you, for those of you who are just joining us, this is the scrapbook.com ink pad storage bundle on sale right now for $19.99. The MSRP is $67. You get two for the price of $19.99, and it's while supplies last or two days only for this sale. Let me show you now what fits inside this ink pad storage. We've got the distress, distress, sorry, distress oxide reinker next to the distress oxide ink pad fits in one slot. Um, some other ink pads that will fit in here is the Catherine Pooler ink pads, the Versa Claire Fine. We've got the Pink Fresh fits in here nicely and the Hero Arts ink pad. A lot of different ink pads fit. We've got Lawn Fawn, Simon Hurley ink pads, more Pink Fresh, um, color Theory from Studio Calico. We've got more VersaFine. VersaFine is one of the thicker pads and it's fabulous. It fits right inside here, no problem. I love these notches so that you can easily pull out your ink pads. Um, we've also got the Archival Ink by Ranger and some VersaFine at the bottom here. And of course, our scrapbook.com ink pads fit fabulous inside here as well. As you can see, we've got all of those. And you can even put your little mini guys inside We've got three of the Catherine Pooler little guys that fit in one slot and you can put them all in your ink pad storage as well. All right, let me show you some other things that you can use this for. I'm gonna move this over here. Look at this gorgeous array of rainbow. This is the stickles and they fit in here beautifully. You can put four stickles in one slot and you can organize them by color and have them right at your fingertips, easy to use. I love this idea. And as we saw with Marina Cole, she was using it for her paper pads. We did as well here. You can put our slimline and our A2 paper pads inside to store at your fingertips and file through to grab when you're crafting. This little guy is great to pull out onto your craft table when you're crafting. So you can really put a lot of different things inside this. Um, let me show you over here some crafty goodness that's inside this one. We've got a lot of different tools. We've got our scissors, some adhesive, some markers, some stamps, and mint tape, and some little guys, and even our domed blenders fit great inside the slots. So a lot of different ideas and ways that you can store things in the ink pad storage bundle. All right, I wanna just take you over here on this side of my table to show you some other ideas that are a little bit outside the box. We've got traveler's notebooks. There is a ton of traveler's notebook in this one ink pad storage and it is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And you can easily pull them out and use them when you're creating with your traveler's notebooks. I love this. This is such a great idea on how to store traveler's notebooks. Let me show you one other little trick that you can do. If you're storing these sitting down like this, not standing up, but sitting down, you can stack them on top of each other if you're going to store a lot of things in them. And this will fit inside the Calyx storage from Ikea. So if you wanted to do it that direction, you can. However, if you wanna stand them up and stack them, we wouldn't suggest that. But I did see in the gallery at scrapbook.com, one of our customers, she used command strips on the back of these to hang it on the wall and it worked beautifully. So you may wanna try that if you're looking for something to hang on your wall to store your ink pads and other embellishments standing up this direction. And don't forget that our team is standing by to answer all of your questions and comments on Facebook and YouTube. All right, once again, this is our ink pad storage bundle. You get either two clear or two white for the price of $19.99. That is an amazing deal, so take advantage of it while you can. This is a great way to organize your craft space and have everything at your fingertips, so you're gonna to wanna to grab them while supplies last. All right, now we are gonna head over to Lauren Taylor's craft room and see what she has in store for us using her ink pad storage. All right, Lauren. Now, usually when I'm creating and filming at the same time, I'm throwing all of my stuff into a different section of my desk, and then I am scrambling through trying to figure out what I use. But now, with this new storage, ta-da, I can keep everything in one place. 
So I've got my note cards, my paper packs, I've got my scraps in different colors so I can easily put them away later because I do like to keep my scraps color organized. I also have my little stamp set as well as my dies and they're each in different sections allowing me to stay organized and being able to find everything after I'm done creating. So I hope this inspires you with some ideas of how you can use the new clear ink storage tower. Thank you so much, Lauren. That was fun to see your craft space and that you use the ink pad storage to pull out onto your table and use while you're crafting to store everything at the ready at your fingertips. I love it. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. All right, now we are going to take a look at some of our crafty friends' uh, photos using the ink pad storage. Let's take a look. This first one we have is from Mona Toth. Look at that gorgeous color. And she put labels on her ink pads so that she can easily grab the color she needs. I love that. And this is a great idea with the ink pad and the blender. That's a great way to have it right at your fingertips. Love that from Carrie Rhodes. And then we've got Juliana Michaels storing her ink pads as well with the pretty labels right there at her fingertips. All right, and Keisha Charles, look at all that gorgeous color and mixed media backgrounds. So she's got all of her card backgrounds organized in there, I love that. And finally, we have this gorgeous photo by Marie Nicole Designs where she is storing her paper pads and her card fronts all in her ink pad storage. I love it. All right, our friend Kia Smith is going to show us her craft room. Let's take a peek. Welcome to my crafty space. Today, I'm sharing with you how I use scrapbook.com's ink pad storage within my crafty space. I love receiving cards from my friends. That's what we do here in the crafty community, share handmade kindness. And I love displaying them, but my crafty space isn't very big, although it might appear big on video. So in order for me to keep out these wonderful cards and to look at them and cherish them, I use my ink pad storage as a way to store them. I love that I could look at them, pull them out, rotate them in, and have them on my walls as cherished memories for my friends within the scrapbooking community. I normally keep this particular unit over there above my pops of color on the shelf, so it's perfect. I feel like I add one to my collection, pull it out, take another one, put it back in, and it's fabulous. So that's how I use my scrapbook.com ink pad storage in my room. I wonder how you'll use yours in yours. Thank you so much, Kia. That was so fun to see your craft room. That was amazing and gorgeous. And again, so well organized. I love seeing people's spaces and what they do with it and how they craft and organize. So thank you. And it was fun to see that you use the ink pad storage for cards instead of ink pads. I love it. So thank you. All right. Now we're going to turn some time over to our crafty friends as they share some customer reviews with us. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Lindbergh from Jeff Lindbergh Creates. Hi, I'm Carol Weatherspoon. Here are customer reviews for scrapbook.com ink pad storage. And I'm reading some reviews from scrapbook.com. The first one from Babe McLeod says, ink pad storage. The towers work well and keep my ink pads neat and organized. I have four two packs, meaning eight containers total. I stack one on top of another. They are sturdy and stack well. I've only filled three so far. I purchased them on sale and they are worth the money. I have various types of ink pads from Stamping Up, Distress Inks, Small Ink Spots, and several other brands. They all fit in the containers. Melissa Rutherford says, worth it. She was pleasantly surprised by the quality of the storage towers for the price. She says that they're very sturdy plastic. She's been looking for inexpensive ink storage for several months and decided to give these a try. For size reference, she notes that she currently stores inks from Altenew, Hero Arts, My Favorite Things, and Gina K Designs. And she intends to buy a couple more units. Thanks, Melissa. And then another one from Ma Ma Me V. She says, love. I really like this ink pad storage, clear. I have both of them standing on my work table side by side to hold any ink pads I might be working with at the time and for multiple projects. The footprints of these two ink pad towers is minimal. I just had to stacks on my table, no holder, until now. And the difference is, the towers keep the stacks of ink pads from falling off of each other and skittering all over the table. I really like that aspect. The next one is from R.S. Gordon. She says, perfect for her scrap box. She was looking for a solution to store ink pads in her scrap box and did not want to use clear bins. 
She says, my scrap box is white, so these match perfectly. They're almost invisible. These fit perfectly on the door. There's just a small gap that she covered with a piece of cardstock. She simply adhered them with removable command strips and painted the surfaces and those adhesive dots to connect the storage boxes. That's awesome, RS Gordon. We are so happy to hear that you love this ink pad storage. And so thank you so much for sharing those reviews with us. We love it. Um, all right, I just wanna show you some more quick ideas. If you're wondering how else you can use this ink pad storage, another great way to use it is to store all of your four by six photos in it at your fingertips, as well as your four by six pocket cards and three by four pocket cards. This is a great solution to have when you're scrapbooking at your table to grab everything that you need to scrapbook. So I love it for that idea as well. And again, it was originally designed to use for all of the ink pads that you have in your craft space. So be sure to take advantage of it to organize all of your ink pads as well. You guys, you're gonna wanna take advantage of this great price for this ink pad storage bundle. This is a great opportunity to have some storage solutions in your craft space to have everything at your fingertips. So you're going to want to take advantage of it while supplies last. I know I have several of these in my craft space and I pull them out and use them whenever I'm crafting at my desk. They are the perfect solution. So be sure to grab yours today and stock up while supplies last. All right, we had so much fun sharing all of this with you today. We know you're gonna love them as much as we do. So again, take advantage, leave your comments and questions in the um, comment section of Facebook and YouTube and our team is standing by and they will answer them and get back to you. So have a great and lovely day and thank you for joining us at scrapbook.com.